Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the um, materials for my MIDI controller. What I'm making is a momentary push button MIDI controller that has potentiometers, um, four potentiometers to be precise, um, which is these things. These cost me about £2.25 each from Amazon. They're 10k. I don't know if you can see that. And they're, they're powered with 2 watts, which is pretty, pretty light. Yeah, <laughs> 2 watts is a lot. And um, yeah, basically, I'm going to be building the MIDI controller and I'm um, going to be programming a chip that has eight digital inputs and four analog inputs. Uh, the eight digital inputs are for these momentary push buttons here. They're arcade buttons, um, 33 mil. Um, really strong, nice, heavy duty, will last for a while. Yep, yeah, um, paid 99 pence from Amazon. Um, beneath these buttons and the potentiometer is uh, A4 perspex sheet. I chose red um, basically because um, my setup's um, red. The, well, there's most of my equipment is red. So, you know, if you was going to build this yourself, you could pick any colour you want, uh, which would suit you. So it just depends on what your preference is, colour. You can have them in all colours. Luminous green if you want. Um, and that's basically going to be for my top. The top of the um, my interface controller, MIDI controller. Um, I'm going to be using some nice solid hardwood for the sides. It's really thick, it's really nice stuff. Solid. It's going to be amazing. Um, you know, there's a few bits of equipment that I've bought, especially for this project. It's not cheap to get started up, but once you've got all the tools, I reckon you know you can start building what you want. Then that's it. I've got everything. So you know, you probably need something like a tape measure. Um, there's a um, cordless drill here. Really powerful. This were thirty pounds from Class Helson. Really good deal. Fourteen point four volts. Yeah, it's, it's strong. I can't even hold the chuck when it's on full power. Yeah, when it's charged up properly. So I reckon it'll go through a nice brick wall. That, <laughs> this, which is pretty powerful for a cordless drill. And um, the next thing is my glue gun. Yeah, I've got the glue gun. It comes well, a bit of nostalgia really. <laughs> Used to use these in school. Uh, basically, I'm going to be using it to, um, you know, glue my um, PCB board down with my chip and everything, so it all stays in place. I want to be able to use it to, you know, control a bit of wiring or anything. Basically, really strong glue. It will stick anything down. Um, what I've got here is my um, soldering mat. Yeah, it comes in handy. Just basically, you know, fire retardant, fireproof, you know, so you can put your um, solder solder gun down on it without burning your desk if you're at home on a nice beautiful desk. You don't want to ruin it, buy one of them. Yep, basically, um, that were about £10. £10, not that much. Uh, yeah, I got myself a drill set. Let's get everything I need to bore all my holes um, on the top. You know, top of my interface. Um, it's got all kinds of metal bits, um, wood bits, masonry for brick. It's got all these parts here for drill. It's got a level, it's got a screwdriver, holes to, well, borers to ball holes. holes. <laughs> Bore holes? <laughs> Bore holes, yes. Um, 
yeah, I got myself, obviously, I didn't tell you um, how thick these were, these glue um, sticks for the glue gun. These are 7mm thick. Yeah, just fit into that. They could all come in different sizes. Um, next thing, got my little solder gun. And I mean, it's really small. And hold it in my hand. You know, all you've got to do is twist the button. You might be able to hear it. Gas comes out. Click that. Ba boom. Take lid off. Well, take lid off before. <laughs> it's just robust at the end of the day. I don't like when I'm soldering, um, like wires connected to the solder, because basically it stops, you know, from having the control that you want over soldering because it's a delicate process. You know, that for me is better. The little gas solder. Solder iron, and yeah, I've basically got my set square, tri square, whatever you call it. Yeah, so that's kind of my rough setup. Um, I can talk about you know all the electronics and how the how the controller is going to send MIDI data. But I'm going to talk about that at um, a later date. What I'm going to try and do now is mark out, you know, where all the buttons are going to go on the top of the perspex sheet. I'm going to mark it out, drill it out, get all these buttons fixed onto it. You know, see what it looks like. You know, have a play around with it, see if it needs altering. I mean, this Perspex here, it's not cheap and it's not expensive, but it's worth spending £5 to do a prototype. I could do it on paper and stuff like that, and I could build diagrams, but I reckon the best way is going to be, you know, getting the buttons, placing them on, marking them out, you know, having a feel for the material seeing what it's like to drill and um, you know see if I need to get perspex that's thicker so it's stronger you know stuff like that I mean that's part of the process and the development and you know if you're gonna make a better product you're gonna have to test everything first so I don't want to blag on too much but yeah I'm gonna get cracked on and drill all these holes get them fit in yeah, it should look nice. And then the next job after that is to make the frame for the outside. And then just to get all the wiring done, solder everything together. Program the chip, solder that onto the board. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time.